Ah. Hey everyone. <laughs> hey everyone. Oh my god, my back. Ah, oh, jeez, Louise. I uh my back is a little bit sore today. Just a little bit. That's why <laughs> that's why I gave such a a terrifying howl at the beginning. Uh my back my Actually, it's not, it's mostly, it's mostly my neck, I guess. I guess it's mostly my neck. I slept weird last night. So my back has been all, all donked up today. It's been all donked. Welcome to the Video Game Valley. It's a beautiful day, a perfect Sega Saturn day. At the exact right temperature, 72 degrees. Wow, it just feels real nice here today. This, this <laughs> Sega Saturn day. I had I had quite an eventful day. Um there was there was a man, uh his name his name was Scott. His name is Scott and he came over <laughs> cuz uh my my uh there's a bunch of fire uh smoke detectors in this house and one of them all of them are pretty easy to change the batteries on, but one of them one of them's 14 feet in the air. It's too high. It's too high. And I get... I can deal with a few feet. I can deal with stepping up on a little a little ladder a few feet. But once you get up that high, once you get up that high, geez, I just... I get terrible vertigo and I just... I fall off ladders to my death. So... <laughs> so I, I didn't want to do that. Uh... Usually, uh, the last time that this battery went out, Scuffy replaced it. But Scuffy's cat sitting for my mom right now in another state. So, uh, when the battery went low and the thing won't stop beeping when it's low, uh, I decided to hire someone to come, to come over, to come over and put put a new battery in it. So I hired this man named Scott. I hired a man named Scott, and he came over. And I was all anxious about it, because I don't know Scott. I don't know. Scott could be a murderer. <laughs> For all I know, Scott could be some sort of scoundrel coming here to, to uh, I don't know. I don't know, murder me, throw me out in the woods. <laughs> Who knows? But Scott was actually very nice. Scott was wonderful. And Scott came, and he, uh, he replaced the thing, and then he left, and it was uneventful. And I worried for nothing. So, uh... I guess the the lesson here is just just let strange people into your house all the time. <laughs> just 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 do it. It'll be fine as as long as they're Scott. Anyone else? They're all murderers. Everyone, <laughs> everyone out. Everyone else except for Scott is a murderer. I also went to the uh, the used game store again today. Uh, the the guy. The guy at the used game store <laughs> said that he might he would be watching tonight. I don't know if he is, but he might be. Uh, the AC there is broken, and it's very warm. <laughs> I felt so bad for him and the rest of the staff that works there. Apparently, it's gonna be the AC is gonna be out for like a week and a half, and this is Florida, so just being in there for like fifteen minutes today was a lot. <laughs> It was a lot, so, uh, pour one out for used game store people who are gonna, who are gonna die of heat exposure over the next week. R.I.P. I'm, I'll miss you. <laughs> Alright, uh, 17 piping ounces of that sweet crab sauce. Thank you for the 20 S.E.K. Sega Saturn is an anagram for Satan Surge. You figured out the code finally. I was wondering, <laughs> I was wondering who would be the first of the Valley people to to learn the terrible secret of the Sega Saturn. It was seventeen piping ounces of that sweet crab sauce. You're the first, Dan Watt. Thank you for the five dollars. Please do my theater opening announcements. I'll pay. Just need to know how you do commission work. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't usually do like. A lot of that stuff, honestly. I don't do a lot of paid work. I will do paid work, you know. But I don't have... <laughs> I, don't, I don't have rates. On account of I haven't done paid work. <laughs> paid voice work before. So, 
Yeah, I mean, you can email me. You can email me, and I will hopefully get back to you at some point. Cleo, thank you for the five British pounds. I'm off my meds to prep for a sleep study in a few weeks, and I have a sinus infection. Everything is awful. Have my monies. Thank you. Thank you, Cleo. Sorry, uh... Sorry you gotta go through a sleep study. I hope it tur I hope when they study your sleep... They discover good things and not bad things. And whatever ails you is, is solved and fixed. Man, I have, uh... There's some medications that I've tried to get off of before that, honestly, it's it makes it made me so miserable. I hope it's not the same case for you. Although you do say you have a sinus infection, and everything is awful, so I guess it is pretty bad for you right now. So I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cleo. My heart goes out to you, Cleo. All right, I'm gonna push the button. Yeah, loading. <laughs> All right. As usual, we're gonna cheat in this game. We're gonna give ourselves just a little bit of infinite lives. Just a tiny bit. Uh, hmm. Alright, here we go. <laughs> here we go, I did it. Alright, yeah, blood purple. That sounds. that's good. A lot of good colors here, but purple's my favorite. Lives infinite. Yes. All right, now I'm unplugging. <laughs> I'm unplugging my Sega Saturn controller. Now that I've entered that cheat code, and I'm plugging in my uh, my light gun. So you're gonna hear a little bit of light gun clicks in this game. I apologize for that. I I sincerely and deeply apologize for all the clicks. For all the terrible clicks. It's it's atmosphere, you know, it's the real experience here that you get. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yeah. Start start game. Here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready for... Are you ready for all the spooks? I know yesterday was Fear Friday. And we're playing a very spooky game again today. But I guess I guess Fear Friday and Sega Saturday have merged into one unholy monster here. Alright. Oh no. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> here we go. The horror begins. The first chapter. Tragedy. 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 <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, oh dang! Ow. Yeah, get out of here, you jerk. Others are still inside. Save them. Okay, you got it. Oh no. Oh no, I, <laughs> I got to reload. Help. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't help. I did a terrible job helping. <laughs> I didn't help anyone, dang. No, no, stop. Stop. Shoot faster. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Yeah, look at those, look at those expert headshots there. Oh my god, what are- <laughs> What? I've played the- I haven't played the Sega Saturn version of this game before. I have played this game, but I haven't played the Saturn version, so some of these models- <laughs> Oh, dang. Some of these models are surprising me here. Some good, good faces. <laughs> a swamp thing. No, no, no. Ah, oh, dang! I didn't save that guy. He should have said no one more time. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is terrible. Man, I love the way these things move. They move like dancers. Ahaha. Uh -huh. I want to shoot that barrel, come on. Oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> look at those frogs. Uh, very good. Got rid of the clowns. Hold your fire. You got it, buddy. Oh god, oh no, the bats. <laughs> I don't know about you, but so far, this is almost unreasonably spooky. Omar, thank you for the for the five dollars. I appreciate the support, Omar. Did I already thank you for that? I don't remember. <laughs> thank you though, Omar. I I appreciate it. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh my god, did you see that? Did you see did you see that giant gear? Oh my god, I want to see the gear again. Look at that gear! Oh god, that, is so, that is such a good gear. I'm un who's this is that me? Is that, is that what I look like? Great. I look like Kolchak the Night Stalker. Hey. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, well, sorry. Sorry, dang. <laughs> dang, sorry. I don't remember there being quite so many swamp things in this game. Also, I'm doing a super bad job saving people. Like, I think I've saved one person. <laughs> There's monkeys? Yeah, they're little monkeys. Is this in a house of the dead? It's a zoo of the dead. I gotta say that every time, every time I see an animal. This isn't the house of the dead, this is the zoo of the dead. Get out of here, you son of a gun. This isn't a house of the dead, this is the zoo of the dead. <laughs> yeah, shot that axe. This is not a house of the dead, this is a zoo of the dead. <laughs> Why do so many z zombies have chainsaws? It's like a that's that's like a trope. Where do they get all these chainsaws? <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, almost. I very nearly managed to save someone. Oh god. Oh my god. Jim, thank you for the 499. This isn't a house of the dead, this is a zoo of the dead. <laughs> yeah. I'm still convinced Scott messed up my computer from many miles away, but I'm glad he didn't hurt you. Yeah, I'm glad too. I'm so sorry he dunked up your computer. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sophie, are you okay? I was so scared. Oh my god, what? Well. Whoa! Oh my God! Jesus! What is wrong with you? That is no good. I'm so sorry, Sophie. I'm so sorry that this rude, rude dude came in. Is he like throwing up? <laughs> what are these movements? You can't shoot me not while I'm dancing! Ha 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 ha! Where am I supposed to shoot? Man, I'm glad I have infinite health. Because I don't understand this fight at all. <laughs> Hit the weak points. What are the weak points? Is it the purple spot? No, I'm really angry. I guess it is the purple spot. Yeah, I mean, he throws up every time I hit the pur Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> no, it's all purple spots. Oh, great. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> this is perfect. 
Very good. Thank you for turning into all weak spots. Sophie! You... you must stop Kyrian, or else something terrible will happen. Such as... this house. <laughs> Is Sophie dead? I mean, she did get dogged. Oh my god, I literally... I did rescue exactly one person. <laughs> I managed to rescue one whole person. One exact person. Great. Vlexus, thank you for the $5. The purple blood reminds me of the purple ketchup that was around when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that ketchup. That <laughs> ketchup was very good. Yeah. That's how I open doors, too. No one lets me... No one invites me anywhere now. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Hold your. Hold the phone. You only save one, but the thought. It's the thought that counts. I thought this was a house of the dead, not a. Not a zoo of the dead. Oh, yeah, I got. Why is it only that one guy who has chainsaws too? That <laughs> one guy keeps coming back with his sweet chainsaw. It'll work this time. Oh my god, I can save. Oh yeah, I saved someone. Thank you. Thank, you're welcome. I saved. <laughs> I'm so proud. I'm so proud. I did it. Ah ha ha ha! Not gonna get me. Diego, thank you for the five dollars. Harry Potter is way scarier. Also, Monty is a dog, and and Tom is a god. Okay. What is this? A zoo of the dead? <laughs> I mean, Harry Potter is pretty scary. What is, what is this? What is this? A zoo? <laughs> a zoo of the dead? Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Don't worry about it. I don't know if I really saved her, considering this house that I've let her walk around in. I think she was probably safer behind the bookcase. What is this? A zoo of the dead? <laughs> Shoot that zombie over there. Yeah, yeah, no, I saved the guy. Yeah, I saved a second person. <laughs> a third person, maybe. Are these guys wearing hats? I can't really tell with these character models, but it looks a little bit like... Like they're wearing some hats. Well. That? Oh, da 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 ba da 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 Da, 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 da. Some sweet music here. R -r Remix. Fun with this this soundtrack, huh? Oh no, it's hat guys again. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll. S I did it. I d I did save you. <laughs> I was about to stop talking because I was like, nah. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, well, I saved that one person, so it cancels out the murder I just did. <laughs> cancels out the murder. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh my god. 
Dang. What a jerk. <laughs> what, what is this? A zoo of the dead? <laughs> Man, I would be so pumped if I, at any point in my life, got the power to command bats. Do you, do you have any idea? The mundane tasks that I would use that for? <laughs> oh my god, I'd be like, ah, oh, man. Man, it's kind of sunny out today. Better have the bats swarm above my head. That's some good... Good animation here. Almost got me. <laughs> I like that this like flying demon thing is like karate chopping me. I appreciate that this demon's whole thing is karate chops over and over again. Oh, still with the karate chops, cool. Oh my god. He got so much health. <laughs> I see it. I guess, I guess they're just gone now. What am I looking at? Oh, they're, they're back, oh no. Uh. It's so hard to tell what's going on with these graphics. <laughs> it's so hard to tell. Dragon, thank you for the five Canadian. Are you getting hit uh, from Hurricane Florence at all? No. No, this is one of the few hurricanes I'm not getting, <laughs> not getting hit at all by, which I'm excited about. Uh, Scuffy's in Tennessee right now, so Scuffy's gonna get some bad weather, but uh, that, that's about it. Thank you for your your concern. Up. Up. Uh, uh, okay. We won't let you have it your way, Curian. Yeah, Curian. Get, get out of here, Kiri. Look, I rescued four people. <laughs> I got four of them that time. Great. Brian, thank you for the, the $10. Why did that monster sound like Microsoft Sam with strep throat? It's a very good, <laughs> it's a very good question, Brian. <laughs> I have no answers for you, unfortunately. There's a lot of questionable voice acting choices in this game, but I think I would like it less if there weren't. <laughs> who, are the, who are these big, big purple friends? Dragon, thank you for the two Canadian. Is that even a door? Glad to hear it. Thank you. I, yeah. For anyone who is being uh, affected by the hurricanes, I hope... I hope you're okay. I've been through a lot of them. The security cards. And they suck. They're no, they're no good, I say. <laughs> thank, thank you. Oh my god, no. No, too many. Is that one zombie that just looks like it's modeled completely differently than all the other ones? No. Oh, I saved so I saved another person. <laughs> Perfect. I forget because of the purple because of the purple blood that like some of these like purple characters are I guess supposed to be like skinless or something. <laughs> I guess that's what it's supposed to be. Uh. So what's the story here? Why is there this house? 
of the dead. <laughs> what is there in this house with all the... Uh, what is this? What is this on? A zoo of the dead? Do they keep spiders in zoos? <laughs> I imagine there's some zoos and some spiders. Get out of here, you son of a gun. Uh, I guess... I guess blue. I don't know if this is a good choice or not. I don't know what the choices mean. Is there really just a zombie just waiting there with a barrel just like, oh, I know someone's gonna come down this elevator. <laughs> Gotta get my barrel ready. It's my moment to shine. Oh no. Almost. <laughs> so I very nearly saved someone. So close to getting the save in. It didn't work out, but that's okay. You know, you win some, you lose some. With people, you know, you win some and then you lose some people. Some people you lose. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa! Dragon, thank you for the two Canadian. Would you be in your own zoo of the dead? Or what would be in your own zoo of the dead? Oh, I don't know. I hate to think of little, little hurt animals, so... <laughs> I'd pick animals who are scoundrels, you know. Hyenas are scoundrels, right? Hyenas are definitely scoundrels. Maybe they're not. I don't know a whole lot about hyenas. I just pick the the animals who like. They're just no good scoundrels. <laughs> hey, I did it! I saved that that guy with a huge neck. <laughs> just just the biggest neck. Hyenas are sweethearts. Uh, okay. Well, I take it back then. I don't know what animals I would have. Don't buy the Disney propaganda, Jason. I'm sorry, I totally did. <laughs> Man, a lot of things jumping out of glass. What are these things? What are they? <laughs> These like clone slugs. Clone slugs are like the opposite of dead. That's like what is this? A ho the house of of life. <laughs> Man, these clone slugs really good at ninjutsu. Just super good. Brett, thank you for the five dollars. Oh my god. Had a payout from Twitch. Here, take some. Thank you, I, I appreciate it, Brett. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna figure out more Twitch streaming to do. I haven't been able to uh, figure out yet how to do Twitch streaming as well as this and not burn myself out. But I got some ideas. I got some ideas, all right. Let me tell you. I have some ideas. <laughs> some terrible ideas. Can I tell you all an idea I have for a type of, st <laughs> type of video game stream? This is gonna sound like a joke. And it is a joke. Oh wait, hold on, it's Kyrian. Man, Kyrian's also got a super cool neck. Okay. Oh, bye Kyrian, bye! <laughs> See ya! Whoa! What is this? A zoo of the dead?
Yeah, it totally is the zero thing. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> look at this thing. Oh, it's super cool. I don't want to shoot it. I just want to know why. Why are you? Can you imagine a thing, this thing was like a drummer? Can you, can you just imagine this thing in a band? Just jamming out of the drums. That's what I like to imagine. I like to picture a, a better world where this wasn't a zoo of the dead. This was, this was a house of music. Oh no. Oh no, it's shooting some goo at me. Shooting some spider goo. Gross. <laughs> Gross. Uh, too much spider goo. Man, we're getting a lot of good shots off. Look at this. I'm so sorry. I wish it could have been another way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll get you, Kieran. What a weird frame to to pause on. Rescued two. Anyway, okay. The, so the idea I had for a stream was, I was just thinking about. I have all these games. I have. Oh, here are the final chapter, the House of the Dead. <laughs> cool. It's finally here. We finally reached the House of the Dead. So the the stream, the stream idea I have. This would be a regular thing, because I got a lot of games. And I was like, what's something I could do with these games besides just playing them? So I was like, what if I got, what if I got like a little, like a little doll bed, you know? Like a little tiny doll bed <laughs> for like babies, for like baby dolls. What if I got a doll bed and I did a stream where I would tuck a little game into bed. <laughs> I, would tuck, I would tuck a game into bed and read it all a little bedtime story. <laughs> what, if, what if that was the stream? You know, each, each night there'd be a different game and I'd tuck the little game into bed and I'd put a little, <laughs> pull a little sheet over it and a little blanket and then I'd read it a little bedtime story. <laughs> do it. Okay, I think I think I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do it. I would watch that ironically. Well, that's no good. You don't want to watch something ironically. <laughs> Cause then, then you only get ironic pleasure from it. <laughs> and let me tell you, ironic pleasure, it's much less fulfilling than just, than just deeply feeling a connection with a little game being tucked into bed. <laughs> Just think about what great dreams these games could have if they're just part no one no one tucks their games into bed. <laughs> I still have most of the early American girl doll beds somewhere in my parents' attic, like uh, if you need one. <laughs> oh man. I was looking up, like, uh, doll bed stuff, and I think a couple of the American Girl doll bed ones came up when I was looking for them. I might try to do something custom, though, if this is going to be, like, a regular stream, you know, just to make it a little, a little cozier, a little, a little nicer.
Leona, thank you for the 199. Bear in the big blue house of the dead. <laughs> it's pretty good, pretty good, Leona. Pretty good. <laughs> Man, these clone slugs. Honestly, somehow the texture on them, it seems smoother than all the other characters. I don't know, <laughs> it just seems smoother. Get out of here. Whoa. Whoa, what's going on in this house of the dead? There's no way out, Kyrian. Yeah, Ky Kyrian. I admit, I really respect your consistency. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Kyrian. Oh uh, no. Say hello to my masterpiece. Well. Who are you? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty Who cool, Kyrian. Well. Oh my god, Kyrian. I was. <laughs> You flew too close to the sun, Kyrian. <laughs> well. All right. Well, we gotta defeat this this little friend here now. <laughs> Man, so sorry, Kyrian. That sucks. <laughs> You know, you, you complete your masterpiece, finally, and it turns out your masterpiece is kind of a jerk. <laughs> you need to talk to someone, Kyrian. I'm here. Man, your masterpiece is super cool, though. I like this, like... I like this blue streak thing. This, like... This sonic... So, super sonic move it's got. Blue streak speeds by some kind of demon. Kyrian tried to make him cool, but then he killed him. Demon, he can really move. Demon, he's got some fireballs for you. Demon. <laughs> I don't think he's the fastest thing alive. Wait, can you even evade his attacks? I don't know. A lot of these games are all about getting your coins, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. Maybe you can. I'm just gonna kind of stand here and get... Get punched in the face a bunch while I slowly get rid of his health. <laughs> he's not alive, he's dead. Oh yeah, that's true. Whoa, look at those stars! Oh my god, that's super cool. <laughs> I like that. I guess they're gonna hit me, right? Yeah, they're probably all gonna hit me. That was really neat, though. This star thing is is cool. I like it. Yeah, I mean, I guess just let them hit me. What part of this guy do I have to hit? There's so many stars. <laughs> There's only like a small amount of time in which I can even hit hit that dude. Okay, okay, just kinda just kinda hit me. Just kinda hit me. <laughs> uh yeah. Alright. Alright. Yeah, just just hit me. Hit me with all the stars. Almost. We're almost done. <laughs> We're almost done here. We're almost done with this house of the dead. Oh my god. <laughs> you have to hit its GUI bits. 
What's its GUI bits? You don't hit him, he's armored, hit his attacks. Yeah, these things? Cause that's not that's not hurting him. Whoa. Ha ha ha! Oh, almost, almost! <laughs> so close, I just, just one more time, one more try, here we go. Oh no. Yeah, I did it! Oh, jeez, jeez! <laughs> Sorry! Oh my god! Well, you're right! Whoa! <laughs> oh god, that was super cool, dude. I I like it. I like I like your little show. <laughs> Very good. Everything is over. <laughs> I have nothing more to lose. Uh. However, I must go on. Sure. Sure, buddy. All right. Goodbye, Curian. <laughs> Farewell, Sophie. Uh huh. Well, we did it. We we defeated the house of the dead. Da 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 da. Skip back. Dab -dab -dab. <laughs> this music is so good. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> uh, wonderful. Dun dun. <laughs> uh, oh, what a good house of the dead, you know. Very well, very, very nice house of the dead here. <laughs> is there any, is there anything after the credits? Is there any like super spooky stuff after the credits? House of the Dead. Oh no. Oh no, she's a dead now. <laughs> Dang. Dang, it turns out she's a dead. All along she's been a dead. I've been betrayed. Oh uh, hey, someone squiggle squiggled all over the camera <laughs> screen. Someone squiggled all over it. Uh D. E. D. Dead. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna load in another game for the last ten minutes or so of this stream. I'm gonna play play another another Sega Saturn game real quick. So be right back. Be right back.
Hey, hey, I'm uh, is I'm back. <laughs> we're all we're all back. Everyone's back. Alright, so this is a game that definitely a hundred percent does not deserve its its own stream. <laughs> we can do ten minutes of this game here, uh, which is you'll you're about to see it. Uh here it comes. You familiar with the uh, with the virtual fighter franchise? You know, the vir Virtual Fighter. <laughs> it's, a, it's a famous Sega Saturn and arcade and other series. Well, <laughs> well, they made they made uh, they made this, <laughs> which is <laughs> which is Virtual Fighter Kids, where they took <laughs> they took all the Virtual Fighter characters. And for some reason, turn them into kids. <laughs> this is this is a thing they decided to do. So all your favorite virtual fighter characters, but I don't know, as babies, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Look at that kicking lightning. That's pretty. Ah uh, uh, ha ha. I don't know where their heads are so big. I don't. <laughs> Their heads are so huge. Yep. Whoa! Ha 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 ha! Yeah, got got him. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, it's a it's a bug. Virtual Fighter Kids, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, this is one I had. This is like one that I got at the store when I was younger. When I was a teenager, I went to the store and I bought this intentionally. <laughs> I intentionally went to the store and picked this up. I was like, oh, I love Virtual Fighter. So, I'll get Virtual Fighter Kids then, why not? And it's just kinda, you know, it's just kinda Virtual Fighter, it's basically just Virtual Fighter, but kids. <laughs> That's basically what it is. Options. Life Gauge, Player One. Sure. Match points, two points, timeline, no limit, opponent level. Uh, opponent level practice. Yeah, practice. That sounds good. Let's let's go with the biggest stage we can we can pick. <laughs> uh, all right. It's got a arc viewing mode, huh? <laughs> it's got a it's got an arcade mode here. Does it take place at a playground? No, I don't think so. I'm trying to think of what characters I would always play. I liked her. I liked him. I liked him. I guess we're gonna go with this guy. He's a herbal doctor. He collects medical herbs. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh my god, that guy's face. <laughs> that guy's face. What, what happened to his face? Fight one. Ready. Yeah, yeah, beat up that kid. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe I have this too easy. <laughs> it's probably too easy. That's okay. Ha 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 ha! Fight one, ready, go! Yeah, definitely too easy. That's like <laughs> so 
<laughs> I, guess, I guess that means we get to see all the cool stages. It's kind of like, it's kind of like if this guy's the only adult and he's fighting a bunch of actual babies. That's kind, of, kind of what this feels like. It feels bad. It feels like I'm fighting babies. Like, I know they're not babies. Because this guy's got a beard. But in real, in real super duper. Where are we? What is this place? Are we in a factory? I guess we're in a factory. Yeah, ex excellent. We did it. <laughs> this guy's super excited about all his wins. All his sweet wins. Fight one. Ready, go! <laughs> that was a great move. This was always my favorite move with this guy. It's just, there's literally just a move where, a move where you just fall over. <laughs> that's like, that's in Street Fighter 2. I mean, not Street Fighter, uh, Virtual Fighter 2. It's just like, up. <laughs> up. 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 <laughs> up. Uh ah ha 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 Look at that great finishing move. Also my fa my favorite move of this guy, just him like falling over on the person to hurt them. <laughs> Ready, go. Anna, thank you for the five dollars. I just got here, and this does not look like the House of the Dead. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, sorry. We beat we beat House of the Dead, one. Ready, and we had a few minutes left, so we're playing Virtual Fighter Kids now. I guess I should have updated the the title. That's like a thing people do when they, <laughs> when they go to a new game, right? We only got a couple minutes left, so I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, it probably does matter. It's probably good form to do it anyway. Yeah, we beat the whole House of the Dead on account of, uh, we were cheating, so it was pretty easy. <laughs> it was pretty easy to beat it. Ah-ha-ha! Ah-ha-ha-ha! Ready, go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, come on. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah! I'm pretty sure the mode I have this on is just, I don't think they're actually going to attack me at any point. I think, I think they're just going to stand there. I thought it was just on easy mode. But I guess it's just super easy mode, because look at this. They're just not doing anything. They're just looking at me, waiting for me to punch them to death. I didn't realize it was this easy. <laughs> I didn't realize. I put it on this mode. Yeah, I got your hat thing. Practice mode means you can practice. Yeah, I guess it does. It's been too long since I've played this. Ah ha 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 
<laughs> that was very good. Ready, go. Very good left. Oh my god! Oh my god, I got kicked! Wait a minute! <laughs> this one's alive! Oh no! <laughs> kill it! Kill it! Quickly! Oh god! No, die! Get out of here! This one's alive! <laughs> that legit spooked me out. I'm all spooked now. Ah ha! Ah ha! How many more stages are there? <laughs> I forget how many stages there are in this game. Well, look at this! Look at those snow people back there. Hold on, I want to look at the snow people. Look at the snow people. <laughs> look at the snow. Oh dang! Oh, I lost that one. <laughs> yeah, you got it. You wanna walk into my foot? Oh man, I forgot I forgot <laughs> I forgot this is a metal stage. Ha <laughs> ha Gotcha. <laughs> I'm glad they only recorded one one end of round line for each character. Oh my god, this one's alive too. Dang. Dang, I gotta take you out. Gotta take you out. <laughs> Val Intine, thank you for the five Canadian. I love Devin. And not ironically. His visual novel is a game of the year for me. I hope he gets his revenge on Melissa, or whatever her name was, that murdered him. Oh. There will be- I'm glad- <laughs> I'm glad you like the visual novel. I'm planning on making more of them. I, uh, there- there is much more to Devin's story to be told. Whoa! Whoa, yeah, I forgot about this. I forgot <laughs> that this was the Virtual- Virtual Fighter 2 boss. And thus the Virtual Fighter Kids boss. Look at this. Look at this thing. <laughs> what? What? What are you? <laughs> Great move. Uh -huh. I did it. I won. I won, everyone. <laughs> Alright, well, we are at an hour now, so I'm going to go ahead and, and end the stream. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, I'll answer a few questions before I go. Thank you for, for tuning in to House of the Dead and then Virtual Fighter Kids. <laughs> I think I think that's about as much Virtual Fighter Kids as a stream can handle, you know. I think <laughs> I think that was the right choice to make. The end of House of the Dead. You lost game over. Yeah, it's true. I lost because I was playing Virtual Fighter Kids. <laughs> will you ever play a Mario Kart game? Yeah, probably. I mean, probably I will. I've got... I got a bunch of them. I also just recently hooked up... Uh, I moved my Wii U from my main TV to the Valley TV. So at some point I'm going to add a PS3 
Xbox 360 and Wii U to the streamable systems. Not yet, but at some point. <laughs> at some point. I even have, like, I found... For the... <laughs> this is from Valley Lore coming up. So, just so this makes sense, know that this is Valley Lore. In the valley... I found a widescreen tube TV. They were... <laughs> did you know that those existed? Because they certainly did. My, uh... My grandmother, I think, still has one of them. It's like... It's an... It's an... It's a 720p... Widescreen... Tube television. They made those. <laughs> they made those. They made widescreen HD CRTs. They didn't make them for a while. I mean, there was just, like, a little bit of time there when <laughs> when people were moving to, uh, to, uh, LCDs and stuff. But I found one of them. I found one of them in the valley, so, you know, I can play, I can play widescreen systems now, <laughs> which is good. It must weigh a ton. Oh, it does. Oh, wow. Wowza. Wowza, it does. Jason, are there any games you're excited to play on stream? I mean, I'm pretty much excited to play all the Sega Saturn games. Like, that's why I have a whole day just for it, because, uh, like, Sega Saturn is my, the first system I ever bought for myself. Um, like, when I was growing up, we had, we had NES, and then, uh, one Christmas we got Super Nintendo. And then after that, it was... It was nothing until the uh, the Sega Saturn came out, and I saw it. <laughs> I was at a Sears, I was at a Sears in Titusville visiting my cousins, and uh, there was a Sega Saturn hooked up to a TV, and I had actually never, literally never seen 3D graphics in a game before. And Virtual Fighter 2 was on the Sega Saturn being played, and I just looked at it, and I was like, I cannot believe how real this looks. <laughs> like this looks. This looks so real and incredible, I can't believe it. I can't... <laughs> we went out to dinner later, and I was trying to tell my grandfather about it, and I was like, the graphics on this... <laughs> like, he had no idea what I was talking about. But I was like, it's like... It's like it's real. It's like you can see every wrinkle in the fabric of their clothes. It's amazing. And, uh... And so I saved up my, my money... I saved up my allowance and my lawn mowing money and stuff, <laughs> and I purchased a Sega Saturn at a Kmart, and it came with uh, it came with Virtual Fighter 2, Daytona USA, and Virtual Cop. Three of honestly the best games on the Saturn. <laughs> some of the best games on the Saturn, and uh, and yeah. My, my favorite system, I still... And I had a bunch of the games, because the Sega Saturn failed pretty quickly. <laughs> the Sega Saturn failed almost immediately, so at used game stores, you could get Sega Saturn games for, like, like $10, $5. It was a very exciting time to be, <laughs> to be a Sega Saturn owner. <laughs> the Titus, that Titusville Mall with the Sears has a good pizza place in it. Does it? I think that place is gone now, right? I think that place <laughs> I think that place is literally destroyed at this point. I think it got torn down. Chris has Chris has uh one of the letters from this sign when they tore it down. He has one of the big letters from it. I think that was the mall that got torn down. I don't know. I don't know enough about <laughs> about <laughs> Of our Titusville malls. Do you cook? Yeah, I cook. I cook a lot. I do I do some baking too. I like I I prefer like I'm okay at cooking, I'm better at baking. Did you get into the Dreamcast? Uh not until later. So after the Sega Saturn, I didn't have Eventually, we got an N64 as well, like, way later, and, uh, after that, I didn't play video games until, 
until like the Xbox until like the Wii and the Xbox 360 were out. Like I went from that <laughs> that era, and it just like because I went to college after that, and I didn't have money to buy games or systems, <laughs> so so I didn't play any, and uh, and my computer was a Mac. So not a whole lot of games were released for that. <laughs> so I literally, I went from the, uh, like, the Sega Saturn N64 era to the Wii 360 era. <laughs> it was quite a jump, let me tell you. I didn't go, st I, I didn't go, it, it didn't go quite like that. What I ended up doing was when I decided, I, I when I had a little bit more of spending money again, I went and bought a $30 GameCube and, and started playing those, and I was like, jeez, jeez, the graphics have gotten so good. <laughs> I was like, I cannot believe how good the graphics have gotten as I'm playing through, like, Resident Evil 4 and, and Mario Sunshine. I was like, I can't believe how much the graphics have advanced, and at this point, uh, the Xbox 360 was out, but I hadn't really paid much attention to, to modern games. So, at some point, I, I, I looked into that, and I was like, oh, oh, wow, oh, god, <laughs> it's advanced even farther than this. And at that point, I, I, uh, I started getting into some of the older systems that I had never, had never had, like the Dreamcast. Have you ever played Streets of Rage 1, 2, and or 3 for Genesis? I know I've played one of the Streets of Rage, but I don't remember which one it was. Uh, my brother got a Genesis at some point, but I didn't I didn't play a lot of Genesis growing up because it was his system. I played some Vector Man. <laughs> I played some Vector Man and some Sonic stuff. And that was that was about it for the Genesis growing up. Do you do PC gaming? Uh, on my own, I do. Uh, not like... It's... It's mo like the the games that I play on PC are mostly indie stuff. Um, just because I don't have a computer powerful enough to do like a, a better job than my consoles at playing those sorts of games. I do want to start uh, streaming PC stuff on this stream. But it's it's mostly gonna be like old Sierra or Lucas uh, Lucas Arts adventure games, and then some more modern like visual novels and indie game stuff. Jason, are there any games coming out soon that you're excited for? Uh, I don't know about soon. Uh, the game that I was exci most excited about has come out. That was uh, Donut. Donut County. Um, as for, like, big games, I guess I'm excited for whatever Death Stranding ends up being, <laughs> but I don't, I don't think that's gonna be soon. I think that's, like, three years from now at, at the earliest. Uh, there was a couple games I saw at, at E3 this year that looked pretty good. There was that one Samurai game. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called, but it looks it looks really good. It looks very pretty. I don't know if it's going to be a good game, but it looks super pretty. I guess that I guess there's a few Samurai games they announced, aren't there? What do you think the story behind Death Stranding is? Uh, I think... I don't know. I think there's, like... I think people are rapidly aged by the ghosts, and so they gotta carry around babies that are clones of themselves, so that if the rapid aging happens, they have a little adult version of themselves that comes out of the baby <laughs> so they get to keep going I don't, I don't know any more than that like that's the that's the most I could read from that <laughs> from those trailers you ever had a PSP yeah I got a PSP I got a PSP and a Vita You never got a PS1? No, the the first PlayStation system that I ever got was a PS3. I never had a PS1 or a PS2. Uh, so eventually I got a PS3. And didn't honestly get a whole lot of games for it. I got it mostly for the exclusives. Because I had a 360 at that point. Uh, and it's only like recently. Like since I've been streaming. That I've had a PS1 and PS2.
Red Dead Redemption. Well, I didn't particularly like the first Red Dead Redemption, so I'm not really, <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the next one. Like, it seems like the sort of game I could possibly get into if I put enough time into it. I just, I lost interest so quick playing <laughs> playing the first one. I just, I just couldn't do it. Something about it just put me off. Oh man, the PS1 was the best if you had the screen you could play in bed. Yeah, I wish I had had... <laughs> I wish I had had that. I wish I had had a PS1 with a screen. That sounds like it was pretty rad. I know you can still get those, but at this point, I'm not really going to be... <laughs> I'm not... Realistically, I'm not going to be playing that. Especially because I, I do have a Vita... And I, I, I've downloaded a bunch of PS1 games on the Vita, so I can just play them that way. My dad collects games. He doesn't play any of them, but he collects them. Yeah, I, uh... There used to be stuff that I collected, and I've stopped... I've stopped collecting stuff that I'm not gonna use with one exception, which... <laughs> which I'm, which I'm not going to bring up on stream because I'm planning on doing a video about it about about this weird thing that I collect play Sonic 06 and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater okay I do have Sonic 06 I think I have it for PS3 I also have some Tony Hawk's <laughs> The official GameCube LCD screen was amazing. I paid $200 to get one, and it was fantastic. There's an official GameCube LCD screen? <laughs> I had no idea. What is that, what is that for? Is that is that for for playing the GameCube portably? What, is that, what does that do? I unironically love Sonic 06, but won't deny that it's garbage. Yeah, that's cool. There's a... There's a lot of bad Sonic games that I unironically like. Like, one of my favorite Sonic games is just Sonic Jam on the Sega Saturn, and I don't even like playing the so the Sonic part of it. I just like, there's this, there's this overworld thing where you just kind of walk around and go to various Sonic museums and stuff. <laughs> and, uh, and I love it. I love just walking around, going and looking at Sonic. <laughs> Sonic history. Ah, oh, I love it. It's it's one of my favorites. Am I shadow banned? No. At, at least I imagine not, because I can see your message. It's a tiny screen you attach to the top of the GameCube. Man, that sounds, that sounds pretty neat. It sounds pretty cool. Are you a fan of Final Fantasy games? Um, I've only played a couple of them. Like, I had one for the NES that I couldn't understand when I was growing up. I just couldn't, I just couldn't figure it out. I could not figure it out for the life of me. And, uh... And then at some point... At some point, I played another Final Fantasy through an emulator, and I don't remember which one it was, but I also didn't get super into that. And then recently, I played whatever that, uh, the one with all the goth boys, <laughs> with all the goth boys in it. I played that one, and I, I really enjoyed that one. I haven't, I haven't finished it yet, but I played a bunch of it, and I like it a lot. <laughs> liked it a lot. Way more than I was expecting to. It's the, the goth boys driving around in the car. That one. <laughs> it's, uh... Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. As someone who has never gotten into Final Fantasy games, that's the one that pulled me in. Do you remember the Spyro and Crash crossover games? Did I just imagine that? Oh yeah, there was like... It's like Spyro, Purple, and Cro... Uh, Crash Orange, I think that's what they were called. Th 
think of the PS1 and the GameCube screens as a Game Boy Advance looks pretty much the same but bigger. Is there a way to play that without plugging it into the wall though? Is there, is there a battery option for the GameCube? I imagine there's not, but who, <laughs> but who knows? Did you play Super Smash Bros. as a kid? Yeah, yeah, we had Super Smash Brothers for, uh, for N64. And then, much, much later, played, uh, uh, me uh, Melee on the GameCube. And then the Wii, and then the Wii U one. <laughs> when are you making the sequel to Nick the Feature Film? Uh, I had a sequel in mind if the DVD sold well enough, but the DVD sold extremely poorly, so I, I never, never... Sequel never got made. The sequel's essentially hit it with a car, really. <laughs> hit it with a car is pretty much the sequel to Nick the Feature Film. Nick the Feature Film is so underrated. I don't think it is. I super duper do not think it's underrated. I don't think it's a great movie. The whole, the whole idea with it was I thought it would be really funny to have a DVD that said Nick the Feature Film on it with my cousin Nick on the front and then you put it on the DVD player and it would be an actual movie like there would be a real movie there it's so nice to watch someone play video games and them not loudly cussing or smashing TVs yeah a lot of streams are very loud <laughs> very very loud the video game valley is not that certainly Certainly, that's the idea. Hit it with a car is so good, though. I think hit it with a car is underrated. People genuinely didn't understand what that was when it was when it was running. I got so every time I would put up an episode of hit it with a car, I would lose like ten thousand subscribers. <laughs> it was that bad. I would put up an episode, I hit it with a car, and 10,000 people would unsubscribe. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, not, <laughs> people were not a fan of that, of that series. I loved it. I think people thought it was serious. I think people thought that people didn't realize it was like a story-based thing. That there was a plot. <laughs> I think they thought that it was literally like... We thought it would be super cool to film stuff getting hit by a car. And we made a legit, completely for serious series about it. I don't think people understand it was like... That people were playing a character that no one was... <laughs> that it wasn't... It wasn't real. There was a plot. Was I supposed to watch them in order? Okay, so plot's a little strong. There's character development. It is like, it is a character-based thing. It's, uh... It's, it's essentially like... The idea is that after Nick the Feature film did not bring Chris internet fame... He decided, he decided to take matters into his own hands, and he, uh, he, he, he put together this, this show that he was certain would be a, a hit, <laughs> which was, he basically, he aped, he aped the style that was popular at the time of, like, the episodic, oh, doing so, like, the, uh, oh, can, can you microwave this? Can it, will it blend? That kind of stuff. And, uh, and he, he made his own version of that, but it was a complete disaster. <laughs> and so you just, you kind of watch it falling apart in real time. Valentine, thank you for the two Canadian. I hope you play Resident Evil 4 in the future. Yeah, I, I definitely want to. That's, uh, that's definitely my favorite in the series and one of my one of my favorite games valentine thank you for the <laughs> two canadian have you ever seen mega 64 videos uh yes it's been a while since i've watched them but uh i remember watching a bunch of mega 64 back 
back in the day. <laughs> back in the day. I know they're still doing stuff, and I, I hear they're still doing good stuff. I remember a video where they they took the Resident Evil 4, like, uh, what are you buying? What are you selling? Like that guy, and just made, like, a cosplay version of him and had him go around asking people that. <laughs> That was, uh, that's definitely pretty old school internet sort of things. My only thought when I watched Nick the feature film was Nick is never going to make it to his job interview. <laughs> yeah. When filming that, originally the, uh, the interviewer at the end was supposed to be me. It was supposed to be me, but... Where we were filming, there ended up being, like, a swarm of mosquitoes, and I'm allergic to mosquitoes, so we started filming the scene, and by the end of the first shot, my face was all blown up. <laughs> my face was all docked up, and so I couldn't, we couldn't finish it, and had to, had to film it with uh, my cousin David instead. Boy, howdy, my face got all messed up that day. <laughs> Count, thank you for the 50 DKK. If I sent you a picture, would you be able to identify this weird rash that I have? No, probably not. There's, some, there's probably some, like, doctor websites you can go... <laughs> you can go to... Go to a doctor website. Send send some some pictures to your doctor. Hey, we've got the same allergy. Yeah, it sucks. It's just no good, especially living in Florida. There's a lot of mosquitoes here in Florida. Honestly, there's a ton of mosquitoes. Did you get a painting in your P.O. box? Uh, not yet. I, uh, I go to the P.O. box every Monday, so I'll be, I'll be hitting there Monday. Last Monday, there was not a, there was, <laughs> there was not a painting in there last Monday. So, if you send something and it should have been delivered by now, then I'll be, I'll be grabbing it Monday. What film cow character should I be for Halloween? How about, how about the animal? You could be the, be the animal. I'm pretty sure someone got an animal tattoo at some point. <laughs> I think I remember someone getting an animal tattoo. Like, I know people have gotten llamas with hats tattoos and Charlie the Unicorn tattoos. But I'm pretty sure someone got a tattoo of the animal. <laughs> and I'm very happy about that one. I'm allergic to grapes. Oh, no, dang. I think I'm allergic to saffron. I don't have a huge allergy though. But there was a there was a point in which I was super into making yellow rice. And so for a week I was just making myself yellow rice every day and I was just sick all the time. I was like, why am I feeling sick all the time? I was like, uh maybe I'm allergic to this saffron. And so I I stopped eating it and I got better. And I was like, maybe it wasn't the saffron. And so I started making it again, and I got sick again. <laughs> and, uh... So I had to stop. I'm not super allergic to it, so I don't, I don't like, break out into hives. But if I eat too much of it, I do get sick. <laughs> I do definitely get sick from too, from too much saffron. Would you be interested in someone animating a VGV segment? I mean, if you want to animate, if someone wants to animate anything from this, you know, go right ahead. Like, I'm completely fine with you taking bits of this and doing what you want with it. Nice application of the scientific method, Jason, setting a good example. <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to, like, give up on that delicious yellow rice I was making if I didn't know for sure. 
<laughs> maybe you're allergic to yellow and not saffron. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's it. Only thing I'm allergic to is pine trees. Oh, man. Gotta watch out for those trees. <laughs> I'm allergic to crabgrass. Which sucks, because my lawn is crabgrass. <laughs> my lawn is crabgrass. Uh, so that's, that's no good. I take Zyrtec literally every day, just because of my allergies. Like, I'm, I'm on a daily prescription of Zyrtec. I'm allergic to lavender. Oh, dang, that would break my heart if I was allergic to lavender. I love lavender. <laughs> it's one of my one of my favorite scents. I'm allergic to fake cheese, so I can't ever be vegan. Um, they make like there was a type of like uh soy cheese that was prevalent for a while, but but these days, there's all sorts of types. Like, um, you can get, you can get like the uh, the cheese stuff made out of almond milk instead of soy, and you can get stuff made out of various, uh, like various nut cheeses. Like there are mo more than one type now. I mean, there there always have been, but like readily available. I'm very allergic to cats. That sucks. My brother was allergic to cats, and then eventually wasn't allergic to cats. I do know that allergies change every certain number of years, so it's it's entirely possible that like I'm not allergic to either saffron or crabgrass anymore. I don't know if dietary. I think dietary uh, allergies may, might not change, but uh, like contact allergies, like some of those do, over time. feel like I've seen coconut cheese, but I might have imagined it. Oh yeah, no, there's definitely, there's definitely coconut cheese. Soy allergies are just annoying. Almost everything has soy. Yeah, soy's in pretty much everything. Lots of soy. Well, that's it for today. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll be back tomorrow. Not sure what I'm playing. It's, uh, it's wild card day, so it could be anything. Just about anything could show up tomorrow. Who knows? <laughs> And then, uh, and then Monday, Monday is Mario Galaxy, which we might be playing on that, that fancy widescreen TV I found in the valley, <laughs> that widescreen CRT that I find. We might be switching to that. Possibly. Possibly. We'll see. Uh... So until then, have a great night, a great evening, a great morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. Farewell, everyone. I love you all.